it's a quick news break with yours truly, Mr. Tyler Ferro. Salute to Lil Nas X. I saw him perform Old Town Road for like the 85,000th time at the Grammys over the weekend. Lil Nas X has came into the rap game. He's technically got the biggest record ever. His record was the quickest ever to go diamond. I mean, he sold, what, 10 million copies? Like, Old Town Road is literally one of the biggest songs of all time, if not the biggest record of all time. Congratulations to that young man having the biggest year of his career. I remember last year, if I'm not mistaken, around this time, Lil Nas X was broke and he was on social media saying, I'm broke, but I'm not going to be broke forever. So salute to bro, openly gay guy. Uh, he, had, he announced that, what, what, like eight, nine months ago. Salute to him being comfortable with his sexuality. But there are not a lot, you know, look, there's this culture of men, especially black men, let's just call it spade a spade, in our community that will never be comfortable with gay men. They love women who are who go both ways, right? But when it comes to gay men, there is a community of men that won't get over it. And I'm not saying you got to be comfortable with a gay man in your space. But to me personally, what another man does doesn't bother me. I just don't care. Like, I know we made jokes about that in the past. We grew up on it. But I'm starting to get out of that phase where, where we talk about gay people like that. Like, grow up. Uh, one guy that's not going to grow up is a guy that I really like. I've interviewed before, Pastor Troy. Pastor Choi randomly dropped a comment on Lil Nas's ex's his Grammy outfit, and uh, he ain't going for what Lil Nas X had on. Here's what he said on his social media account: "Well, I guess I won't be winning a Grammy if this is what I gotta wear." They love to push this shit on our kids. The other day, Applebee's had some punks kissing and laughing, eating mozzarella sticks. First thing my 14-year-old son said was F Applebee's and it brought joy to my heart. Oh my God. He said, it's he sees it. It's the agenda to take the masculinity from men, black men especially. Some may say he making money. RuPaul do too. But I ain't bumping his CD. Integrity is priceless. Y'all better open that third eye and let your sons know what real or they ass gonna be headed down that old town road for real. Hashtag they gonna ride till they can't no more. Hashtag black own an independent hashtag not my son it ain't worth it hashtag take the road less travel hashtag you'll still get there and and, and Lil Nas X had a com comical response to Pastor Troy saying damn I look good in that pic on oh, God look man like I said if you're not comfortable with someone else's sexuality, here's the reality of the situation. I don't care what you believe biblically. Because if you want to talk about what's in the Bible, we do a lot of things as even Americans that doesn't align with the Bible. Um, but in regards to sexuality, like I said, it's time to grow up. Like, people are going to be gay. People are going to be lesbians, bisexuals, all that as we go and go forward. And to be real with you, it's only going to enhance. That community is only getting bigger and stronger. Look, I, I had to mature. Like people you know come out. You know what I mean? It just is what it is. I don't really care what another man got going on in their bedroom that much. Again, if you're that homophobic, and I'm not saying this specifically to Pastor Troy, but I'm saying this generally speaking, well, it's to a point where you can't be in a restaurant when there are two guys kissing each other. If it's that crazy for you, like, damn, bro. Like, people going to start to look around and say, like, yo, what, what, what you hiding in your closet, bro? Like, it's that crazy again. You get to teach your kids whatever the hell you want to teach them. I'm not telling anybody how to raise their kids. If that's what, not what you want your kids to see, I'm with it. I'm not really the biggest fan of, of certain commercials being put out in the atmosphere because I want my kid. Look, I am raising my kid to be a straight son or a, a straight female. I'm saying both, not just the son part. I'm raising my kid to be a straight female, straight son, because I want to be able to relate to them. I want to be able to tell them about my, you know, my love with their, with their mom, right? But if if that's not the case, if my son or daughter decides to go other ways, I'm not gonna be the one to judge. I'm gonna love them anyway. That's how I'm riding. We gotta get out of this homophobic world because world because no matter what you think, no matter what your beliefs are, gay, lesbian, bisexual, all these things are happening every day and it's not for me or you to judge what somebody else decides to do in their bedroom because we will really want to play that game of bible talk there are a lot of things we don't we do that don't align with the bible just my perspective it's a quick news break with yours truly mr telefer i'm out i came from nothing but i want everything god has for me i interview celebrities i talk sports i still represent the culture I got the kids, they
tuned in. Tuned in. We locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV.